Welcome back to another Cyber Squad gaming video as we play Avon Colony. This is part three as we move from the sandy area to the snow. So what do we have in store? Build power. We can work on that. That's not a problem. So right away, it's snow everywhere. So we're going to have problems growing food for sure. Yeah. So we need to build out probably this way through all the close to the power and see how we go from there. So. I'm sorry the dropship pilot wasn't able to get closer to any of the zones that support farming. In the meantime, we'll what a shit drop straight pilot if you couldn't land over there versus landing here. That doesn't seem that smart. We'll just get the power up and running. That'll be the quick option. And we need to work on nanite production. That's going to be important as well. Because we're going to need nanites to run all the pipe and all the all the cables out. All of the tunnels. And as always, we're going to have to make sure we bring in a nice immigration ship. And we'll work on some air filters. That seems like we've spent quite a bit of our money. So let's go ahead and speed this up. Get the power plant built. That's part one. Uh, we'll put some of these on low priority. So that he focuses on upgrades. Alright, and then the first thing we really want to do is come out here, come out this way, build that, put that out. We'll take our nine nanites, build a water pump. Well, that's fundamentally important. Um, not a great lot of area here. There's some great stuff around the thermals. So for right now, we're, we'll, we'll power one in here. And then we'll come out and we'll build some more this way. I'm really thinking... We have to be careful with our overlap here. Probably... This one's going to overlap. We'll come out somewhere here. But we're not going to get all this. So it might be worth... Building this one. Cut through here. I think another mining facility... We can build an iron mine, and we have a gold mine, so we're well underway here. These guys are away, so that should work pretty good. I think we should make sure that, given we're in the ice, power is of paramount importance. We sort of focus on the fact we can build power pretty quickly now. Oh, this is building... Probably didn't need to do this one. Let's recycle this. Ooh, we'll take the nanites back out. And then we'll head out this way even more. We're gonna have to build... We're gonna have to build out transportation. Like, we'll have to build a, a live... I think we're gonna build a living hub probably here. Industrial hub here. And then we'll run transports out and we'll have small outposts or small hubs on these outer areas 15 broccoli we're gonna have to keep going fast because we do not have a lot of uh do not have a whole lot of food here might even be worth building a transportation i am processing gold's coming in too the so gold should be able to be used for export. Wow. Those are some very unusual structures. They look like ancient buildings or something. Hey, Vori, shouldn't our surface scanners have picked those up? It did, but it didn't identify them as non-natural features. Build a trading hub. Software was probably thrown Definitely going to have to get the gold in. Formations around here. I'm starting to get a little skeptical about our scanner system, Vori. I've taken a couple of zoom shots. Trade the hub 36. You Can you shipe them to me? Hold on, I'm gonna twerd him so the whole ship can see him. Uh, I'm not allowed to use twirdle anymore, remember? Uh, it might be worth re cycling yeah, right. some of right. these yeah, to get our nanites in and then redo our expansion in a minute. 
might be well worth recovering some nan nanites here. Might have expanded momentarily too fast. Alright, so let's get all that. And then we've got a trading hub at 36 nanites. So we should be able to get all that. I just noticed the food's down 184 and we don't have any farms. Alright, and then we're going to build our trading hub. That should be built pretty quick. Whoa, this is not going to be good. And then we need to open the trade and we need to start importing rice for gold. That has to be a staple of what we're doing here. do have gold we should be able to get this ship up and running I'm on back with the 250 uh, this is gonna be tight people we're definitely gonna need food insufficient housing I'm okay with that cuz definitely gonna get some pasta oh we just survived it so that sounds good. I think we're going to be okay there. So we got to continue this aggressive expansion out this way. And we got to put a pause on more immigrants until we can work on this. Build a storage depot. Understood. I'd like to facilitate the trade yep, I'm already doing that one, buddy. So this should allow us to grab this, which will also be more rice and corn and continue our ex aggressive expansion. We just kind of have to keep working our way out that way as quickly as we can. Trade ship is descending. Come on, trade ship. Give us a nice big boost. Yep, here we go. Perfect. Hopefully I have enough workers out here. Might need to build some transportation hubs. Yep. And we need to build some buildings for people. Not quite there yet. Yep, I got it. No workers can be acquired by the drone place. I need your help to balance our supplies. Well got it. Done. I'm pleased with the progress of your colony. I'm gonna risk nanites here. I'm gonna risk hey, nanites. Chancellor? There's a situation I need to discuss with you. I've closed the comm channel, so this conversation is only between the two of us. To put it briefly, we've observed some build a habitat phenomena on the colony ship. I'm not you said construction up here, right? For housing. Calls. But what it boils down to is this. It appears that we've been infiltrated. Someone infiltrated? This expedition is not who they appear to be. I'm well, that doesn't sound that doesn't sound good the identity of the infiltrator but right now we have very and then we have this hub and no idea who or what we keep can we keep going I'm sorry I can't give you clearer direction but I'd like to ask you to keep an eye out we will keep an eye out for the bad guys we don't mind doing that all right so let's zoom out a little bit of my team please don't hesitate this is looking pretty good We'll probably connect this and make a little box so we can transport tools. people back and forth. Food seems to be building quite nicely, which means our gold situation is getting well resolved. Gotta just keep pushing aggressively out this way. We gotta try and maximize our amount of space up here. A new mission is available. Go to lightning tower, I can do that. Lightning Tower, 15 nanites. Well, we are working on the connection. Is this worth upgrading? I show the range. No. 
Yeah, that one might be. Okay, so we need to prevent damage here. We really need to get lightning built up. That's 15 nanites. And then we need to focus on continuing to progress out this way. This is 60 nanites. That should allow us to build out to the farm. And then once we've built out to the farm, we should be able to pick up some of these extra pieces of iron. Nanites are going to be very, very key here. Alright, so let's pick up the rice. Um, let's build, I think we're going to need one more drone hub to really encompass this area. Perfect. Now we'll start looking at the farm building facilities. Kai has an energy battery, I forgot. Energy. Throw that down there. That should give us a few more. Cargo pod acquired. Perfect. So look, our food is well, well, well built. Uh, it's probably three wide. That's a good location. What's our power situation? 288. Geothermal plant is producing 260. We're going to need a new thermal plant pretty quickly here. Look at all those drones swarming. And we're going to have to build some air extractors for sure. Same as I think we should build one halfway down the tunnel. Alright. So the next step here is farms. So we got to build out a farming network. That makes sense. Cannot acquire workers. Uh, to build a transport hub, possibly? We have some thoughts on how to best... Exp 300 electricity supply. We should be able to get that pretty quickly. Would benefit from increased manufacturing capability. I kind of understand I need more nanites. But I need more... More ability to create other things first. Alright, this one for jobs. Probably have to build an outpost down here, I'm thinking, as well. Oh, maybe even, like, a habitat. Might need a habitat down here. 21 nanites. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and build, a, build the habitat here. Here's drone station. That's no workers. They should be pretty good. I'm trying. I'm trying to get my colony up and running here. I think we're in a good position. Again, drop ships are always most important, so we always maximize the number of workers that can arrive. Perfect. Now we need to start the clever use of our limited space. So we have to find vegetables that are really good. We're going to have to be really clever with how we lay them out here. Um, so eventually when you upgrade it one more time, that's two, three. So there's going to be, I think when you upgrade it, uh, one more tile, then you get two more tiles. So one, two. So we're going to have to build one, then one, two. I'm just going to build that there as a marker. Good way for laying out your, your bases. And as all farming, it is a high priority job. Farming automatically gets the majority of the workers. So when we get to the next, uh, when we get to the next summer, which we're in the winter now, we have to see to make sure this production is making sense. Yep, yeah, you build there, and you build there. And I think we need to also probably look at a water facility down here. Uh, I think we're gonna want to build around this power pan, but I think we have a little bit of time. Population and nanites. Let's build one more farm. Nine nanites. We'll get there pretty quick. 
And then spacing, one, two. Look, plus three. So I think we can leave that as is now and focus on nanite production. The first thing we can do, we can update, upgrade the mines. Uh, always high priority. Because this isn't even working at full efficiency. Keep shutting down. So we can improve that efficiency first by upgrading the outer mine. Then we have one mine here we can go for. Iron here. I think that's what we're going to have to rely on for the one plus. Upgrade the mine again to tier three. Low water. I thought we might run into that problem. So what are we at now on production for nanites? Well, one of them is managing to maintain, so that's good. That leaves us 0. 0.7. Got it. I know. This should increase water. And we'll build another one down here in a second. So I think we now need to run this one. What are we looking at for mining? 35 for a tier 5 mine. Damn. It's expensive. Don't think we need that much mining. Let's keep the speed going. This, this level is a level of attrition, it feels like. Yep, so we're slowly climbing the water, but we are dangerously low per person. We're at one nanite. Come on, give me it. Yeah, I get it. Got a number of different little problems that I'm trying to work my way through. Incoming shards. I do not have the money to build defenses. Now the question is, yes. So we built that up. Now we can build a second nanite fabricator. That's 14. Should be able to build that. And that's that next objective complete. And how far are we off? We're not full there, and we are we're definitely full down there. Okay, now we should flip back to the water situation. Look at that. Great water. Build this supply in here. We should be perfectly good. And then we'll build a typical standard policy. Any next to any heavy construction, we put in an air filter. Your progress is satisfactory. Uh, great food. Nanites are hard to come by right now, so let's keep keep working on nanites. Let's get this up to level three, then we'll have two nanite production, so that will keep us in a good position. I want to upgrade here because this is going to influence this area. Uh, one more upgrade. Six food per hour. Well, I think we do have enough. We'll upgrade all these first. Trade rice vessel came in with extra food. I hope you're keeping the happiness of your win a referendum. I can do it. On um, next season, we will be absolutely flying. As you recall, the Constitution guarantees your citizens the right to vote on their colony governor. It looks like that time is upon us again. That's one cell we'll build another cell and then we have this little expansion to the north here so i think we're in good shape we'll build a level three miner here and we'll run this up to to keep up the idea of the cells that should allow us to build a, another nanite factory back here so No metals to process. Wow. Okay, so these ones can't really keep up. 1.1 an hour. Hopefully when this gets up and running, they'll be able to keep them all between all of them. 
And then we're gonna upgrade this. There's a lot of building here. I think you have a good chance to win this referendum. We are also going to build our first our one of our defenses. I have an opportunity to import Kanoa. I can do that. Uh, export bread. Can export broccoli. Yeah, we can do that. Like for like, so it's going to slow us down on the trading. Welcome. But your columns. Build three lightning towers. Okay. Guess another way, another one to build is down here on the edge. Storage is full, so let's upgrade the storage. At the same time, I want to keep ahead of this power curve. It's about. I think you're on track to win this referendum. But here's the feedback I've compiled from your citizens. I really want to keep ahead of this power curve. So that should allow us plenty of power. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to connect through the two sides. And we're also... Oh, we're going to slow this down for a second. There's a lot going on. But we're going to work on... Transport hub, so that will help that production. This is full. So I'm gonna start working on upgrading this. I need your help to balance our supplies on the colony. Exchange cold for 400 corn. We can do that. Hold for 400 corn. Done. New mission, bar and grill. We can definitely do a bar and grill because we are flying. We said this would be production. So let's keep it as such. Hospital. And then we'll probably end up... Let's do something like this. Put all the connections through here, and this will be industrial. How else do we want to do this? A bar and grill. We want a dispensary here. I think we pop this up again for another upgrade. Plenty of food, but we got to keep an eye on it. Um, I'm gonna upgrade this again, and then we're going to look for a research center. This is what I meant about down here for the research center. So we'll build out this section here. We'll find a gap to run a, a line through this way as well. One research, 94 nanites. Well, nanite production is now pretty good, so how we got this? Yeah, we're well, not quite as much as we would like. So, the next objection, I think, object, ugh, objection, objective, might be to head north and run lines to the north. For two reasons. One, I think it's going to be important to grab these just to mine a little bit in reserve. So, just put a small mine out here. And then there's a lot of stuff to grab. This is potash, don't really care. Iron deposit, gold deposit. So we could run out this way. And we could also run south. This is iron. South would be an easy run. Let's run north and... I think at this stage we are going to be in a position of running both directions. I'm just not sure we can do that simultaneously. Uh, let's keep the speed up, shall we? This goes up. This goes... Oh. This goes here. Uh, another drone out this way. Not connected to power. Yep, I well believe you. You aren't connected to power. Uh, I'm not sure why it wouldn't let me build there. More gold, corn, lightning tower hit. Congratulations on your referendum victory, boss. Still taking lightning, so let's upgrade that. Tier 2 research, upgrade. 
Keep moving. 46. Here's your next population. 200. I can do it. We, we're flying at this point. Eight colonies every few seconds. That's going to need a new one. That's almost full. I'm probably going to have to think about expanding food here shortly, especially with this. Um, might even be worth doing it now. Put the food in there. Old bloom depleted. Okay. Research. Whoa, look at all that. Expedition upgrades, drone boosters. Oh, wow. That's a ton of stuff. Well, first of all, we probably should do gold bloom. Guess what time it is. Earn three accommodations. Analyze the structures. Okay. So I think we need to run a, start running an expeditions out of here, too. Where are we on expedition tech? Expeditions. 110 nanites. We're close. Let's get an expedition up and running. I think that's going to be important to our overall success here. Import melons. Got it. We're almost at 110. Expedition center going in. Cannot reach. So after 10 nanites, we'll run another, I'd run another nanite out here. Is it more beneficial to run this and then probably pick these nanites up? That's probably a smart move. Whoa, look at all these little dudes. Work. Oh, there goes my car. All right, so we now have expeditions. So let's go to the expedition map. Places where we can send our first expedition vessel. Make sure you keep your expedition ships well staffed. Looks like someone could use our. All right, this definitely warrants it. Looks like someone could use our assistance. Better send the team out there. Start with that. That seems like a good thing. This is a reasonably high priority. It sounds like. So where are we at next? Build that up. They want us to analyze the structures, so we'll keep. I think we'll keep coming out. Yeah, this way. Should we build some boosters? Drone bo adds a policy that allows you can use any race to temporarily increase your drones construction and repair. Policy allows you to use power for energy, battery, increase air filter, and take effect. Scrubber boost. The air filter boost would probably be useful. Uh, energy shields. I don't know. Medical bay? Why not? And then... Some bread and stuff in case we need it. And then the Kiko slime is for money if we need to go down that path. Not acquiring workers. Okay. I'm starting to think we might need to build some weapon defenses here. Uh, this would be a pretty good weapon defense. That would be a pretty good weapon defense. 22 nanites. One more. Uh, repair you. Let's run out the supplies. One, two. There we go. We were ambushed. Guess we gotta come back for repairs. And a new mission. Export Starglow. Well, first of all, we need to build Starglow. Uh, where are we going for that? Probably need to build a chemical plant. 
Almost at capacity again. But before we do that, we probably need to build more storage. Let's pick up the nanites. This will give us a big boost. I think we want to build one of these out here, and I'm even going to go as far as this is going to be a quite a productive area that we should probably build an outpost. Got the cargo pod, so that's good. Now we can look at where our defenses lie. That's a pretty good defensive position. Probably down here. What's our lightning coverage like? Good coverage, good coverage, good coverage. Phew. Let's speed us up a little bit more because I think we're starting to head into fast speed motion. Not sure I need that yet. There's a lot more power out this way too. Flash. Sorry, you're going to be upgraded. There's a lot of construction out there. We're going to be doing a lot of busy work. I think we're in really good position. Um, we need a chemical plant. So I'm going to build that there. And as I said before, we're going to find a way to bring that across. I think we're going to find a way to bring that across. And then what we're going to do, just for the sake, is we're going to build... little batteries in here so we can use the boosts because we're developing those boosts so we can do that and then building can't build star glow so we're gonna get that don't think we're gonna do this one medical bay boom 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 doesn't quite fit but what we will do one build there create our filter like we were expecting and put our single gold mine on I'm there we go that your colony is undergoing a hydration crisis I trust you'll secure additional water supplies post haste. Didn't really think we're having a crisis. About a thousand. It's going up a little bit. This is a nice little build, and then we'll run another. Uh, run another drone over here. Yep. Now probably here. Oh, I already built one. So we'll run an additional power here. Then we'll run another. I want to. I want a high tier mine here. How much to build a big one? Seventeen. There's no way we're running out of water. Ooh, that just dropped a significant amount. All right, build another one. A thousand little drones going out. Three commendations. We'll go to the map here. We'll re resupply and recover all these. And we'll confront the baddies. So that's the expedition back underway. 66 in there. 54 in there. Probably need to start thinking about building out some more population centers. 66 nanites for that. I don't think it's worth it. Build out a big one because we're quite centralized. But before I do that, I'm just going to roll the dice on. Building out this piece first. Get the additional nanite income. There we go. Are guns going off? I also think we need to build some defenses here for... This is a big enough area to protect. 
So that is fantastic. This food production is fantastic. Immigration continues to come in. How are we on the outposts? Oh, pretty, pretty good on the outposts. Received expedition award. Housing has been maxed out, so that gives us an idea where we're going next. Big skyscraper. So that should give us plenty of housing. No trade contract selected. That's not good. Um, I think we got gold, so let's get corn brought in. Where are we on star glow? 60% of star glow. Then we'll have to start managing that. scan all of these look at that and we have the mining going on and we're going to build another outpost here for this little area uh, more supplies don't need the potash so that's quite visit three ruins build a space elevator how do I build a space elevator 900 nanites holy that's a lot of nanites that's not too bad visit through your export star glow i don't even have anything to build that well at this point What do we say we needed for this? Starglow is Enosage. Yeah, that's not going to grow very well. Oh, it might grow better down here. And up here. Okay, what was the other one that I needed? Roji? You know what? We're not, we're not going to build that there. We gotta, we gotta work our way down here. So while we're build, waiting for the additional monies to come in, we're just gonna keep working our way south so we can get to this to get even more money. We'd like you to expand your college. My population even more. I absolutely understand why you say that. We'll build those defenses. It's costing us more money than we're making. Uh, what else can we do? Research a medical bay. We'll go out into space. Supply. Investigate. 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 Okay. Build the last ones. Hurry up, you. Didn't we build you faster? Oh, I forgot last time. We didn't build any police last time and it bit us in the ass. So we should probably build police. Yeah, we'll build a traffic stop. And then we will build coming shard storm. Okay. This one, this one. Come on, build. That should give us colony people. That should go down. That should become that. And then we'll build that construction zone. Is it investigate more ruins? There must be more ruins on this map, is there? So 
is visit three ruins. Are there more? Doesn't really matter because it's not important to completing the level, but. Gold deposit finished. So we want to recycle and we want to repair and repair. I bet they got shot at, did they? Yep. Everyone should be happy with me. Uh oh. Air quality is not good. Why is air quality not good? It seems that we haven't got enough vents in this area. Probably didn't put enough vents in this, this spot. Oh. Oh. I didn't put any vents in there. Oh, this is a major, major, major expansion of vent control. No wonder people are mad at me. It is not a good position to be in. I think you're on track to win this referendum. Yep, me too. From your okay, I think we can get rid of all that. All right, let's just slow down for a second. So first of all, need that. Now, I'm gonna run a centralized line. Perfect. And we need Sage. And then we also need this Grosha stuff. And probably we can run a one, two back. We can run a secondary line and then one, two back. So, probably, probably run something like this and then something like this that we can run down and expand upon when we need to. Oh, we found it. Like somebody needs our help. You better get out there. Looks like someone could use our looks like somebody needs our help. You better get out there. I have a new mission of 12 accommodations. That's fair enough. Feeling that you're going to be doing a lot of building down here. So we're at 177, three incoming. Iron is pretty stable at this point. It's actually going up. So I think to maximize that industry, we go ahead and we build another. Good news. Your citizens 72% of the vote. Performance, and I think you have a good chance to win this referendum. Awesome. It's all good stuff. It's the star glow now. Give you star glow for iron. So if we got star glow for iron, we can create a hell of an industry. Or upgrade that manufacturing. This might allow us to really kind of like expand drastically. These are going to be considered semi-important jobs here. And the reason is, is we need to focus on getting iron so we can build a big, a big uh, infrastructure for um, nanite construction. So more nanites there. Whoops, my bad. More nanites going in.
this, now that we're here, we'd be able to provide a steady stream of these two elements. And then from those two elements, we can build out enough supply to bring in. Congratulations on your referendum victory, Thank boss. you. Capacity, 29. We haven't filled this out yet. So, I believe... Oh shit, creeper spores. Uh, we can defend against them much easier if I just build a cannon defense there. Build. Low water per colony, we can fix that. Reaper spores down. How are we looking? 103. So now we can just ramp up nanite production. So by importing it, we can just ramp up nanite production like nobody's business. Um, and hopefully if we ramp up the hell out of nanite production, we're going to be in a good position. at the same time because we're doing such a fantastic job put in one of these and at the same time I don't really need an arc launcher but what I do think we could do which is a little cheeky is why don't we put in a second immigration center down the back here and that second immigration center can work Make sure we don't run out of power. A second immigration center will double up with our ability to import things. Ah, look, they're at Sandy Gulch. They're in our last mission. That's so cool. We just keep moving and moving and moving. Toxic gas emission. Oh, uh, we can fix that. We can fix that uh, air filter system right here. Hopefully that doesn't create. We can go, we can also probably build out and cap them. Did we cap them? Yeah, we can cap them. We can make this a high priority so they go and cap it straight away. So look at the nanite production, 8.5 now. They are just finally flying through the nanites. So we've got enough production that we are completely nanite maxed out. Trade ship descending. And we are going to make this a high priority job to speed up. Where is their poor air quality? This is improved significantly. Oh, over here. Where else is bad? That's improved drastically. Oh. Because we didn't cap that. That'll improve really quickly. Yeah, I'm no, no, not surprised you can't acquire workers all the way out there. Fire, laser beams, fire. Alright. Yeah, that is a big storm. So, can I get, can I continue to import iron? No, it did not allow me to import iron. So that was like a one-off trading. Can export Zorium, that works. So I guess now we can't ex import any more iron. We should recycle these. Get down to a number we think is far more manageable. Oh, that was a little premature. So where is their iron resources? 
We're almost there. It's just a waiting game at this point, which kind of sucks. It'll cost me more nanites to get up here than I would make just waiting for nanites. Because this is flying up, so why would we... Oh, wow. That was damaged. Alright, something just happened here. Spore, plague spore detected. Oh. Crap on a cracker. I don't know if I can shoot the plague spore from here. Alright, pause this for a second, because if plague spores are coming... There's a decontamination unit here somewhere. It's not there. It's not there. It's not there under health. Decontamination unit. Actually. I'm okay with that for a minute. And the other thing we can do is upgrade this. Okay. Did they shoot the plague spore? I think they did. Okay. That works. Where is the bad air? Over here. Okay. We can add in bad air filtering. There we go. Continuing to climb closer and closer to our main objective, which is Space Power Elevator. 300 more nanites. So let's whip the speed up. Still have a ton of space. Migration vessel still docking. Repair for one nanite. Repair for one nanite. I don't even think we need these. I think we can recycle one more. Cover 11 more nanites. We're not going to get to 400. We just aren't. We're too busy rapidly um, upgrading. Incoming shard storm. Storage is full. We'll honor the storage system. All right, build up the storage just in case. Low food per colonist. That's a new one. Not really risk. Um, not really risk that, can we? That would be a very stupid decision to risk the food for the colonists. That would be a really stupid decision to not just spend the hundred here to help fix it a little bit. I was not thinking that was a problem. But I will say this, the trade ship... What's the most profitable route we can do? 250 bread? I'm not sure what this is, but it's investigate like someone could use our assistance. Better send the team out there. Some of these. 
Looks like somebody needs our help. You better get out there. Um, where are we at? Here. And then we should be able to... A lot of the things are getting damaged. A lot of damage. Come on, we're so close to finishing here at this point. Broccoli. should now be in a position where food is booming. We should be absolutely booming. Absolutely booming. Absolutely booming. Keep, we're gonna just keep firing along here and trying to get as much freaking broccoli as possible. I'll be intercepted. Space elevator. Oh. They did not get intercepted. Decontamination unit here. Decontamination unit here. Decontamination unit here. Decontamination unit here. Decontam I think that might be enough to hold it. And you are going to switch production to uh, manufacture compliance to the hospital increase health. Alien Plague Infections. You're going to go into mass production of Alien Plague Medicine, and I think you're fight out. We have some thoughts on how to best... Exp okay, let's go back. This, this is going to be a big build. So the other thing we can do to help speed this up... Oh, we should pause for one second. This has to be high priority. This has to be high priority. This has to be high priority. Um, we can't let it spread around too far. And then what we can also do is upgrade some of these facilities that could be using to help build the mega structure. So the spores have been around, but I'm not sure how many of the spores, how many people are sick. Low variety of food, man, I don't care. Look, we're pumping out nearly 5,000 food. I am much, much happier to continue the way we're going. informs me that some of your colonists have become infected with microbes from plague spores. I trust you'll provide adequate health care to ensure the epidemic does not spread any further. We have plague vaccines. I mean, we 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 we've been working on stuff. We'll make even a high priority job to make plague vaccines. And we won't make Glow Star anymore. No, we we can we can we can fight the plague. I'm sure we'll be absolutely fine. Wow, high priority. Is there any more building we could build? How about we just build more nanites? And more builders. Build another three. That should speed it up.
Why is this not being repaired? Oh, it's under repair. Storage is full again. Some would say we're overproducing people. Some would definitely say we're overproducing. Defend the breach. I see you've analyzed the structures, Chancellor. We'll run the data through our pattern analysis software and hopefully it will lead us to further discoveries. Is that Order? what you wanted? You online? I'm on, Commander. Our space Dad, elevator? You? You on? Ooh, Recording. space Good. elevator. Okay, guys, I've looped the Chancellor in on the comm channel as well. Calandra, can you tell me what you saw in Sandy Gulch before you were knocked out? I don't remember. Nice little said. structure. Wow, really? You don't remember anything. The last thing I remember is walking around in that. Look at that. Nice little space structure the there. Down the hall. Oh, okay, even has a little buggy coming out, in. A little you ship. contacted me over the comm channel and you said there was, quote, a situation and that you saw something. Do you remember what it was that you saw? Nothing. I'm sorry, she saw no. death reincarnated. What about that cube? They found you with a cube in your head. How did you get that? I don't remember at all. It must have been the concussion. That can happen when you get hit hard enough. Well, let us know if you remember anything. Jack. She doesn't remember anything. Stop pushing her. I've been using our pattern analysis software to decode it. I picked up a few tantalizing clues. It seems to contain some sort of a history of an alien well, space even though we're finished with this I level i still think i owe the people clean air sounds like they were a lot like us they started to learn science build computers but they also had wars and famine and things like that and that species used to live on avon prime i think so we'll upgrade and continue really to upgrade yet, only scratching the surface or maybe they're living underground or something from what i can tell, underground uh oh scanning and the chapter I decoded refers to an event called the message. It has something to do Man, with an extinction. That happened again. It's got so one, one freaking spot that hasn't got lightning know. protection. As far as I, got. I expect progress will pick it's up. still got power the from over there. Algorithm picks up more of the alien language. Understood. I think this might be the end here. Victory. So thanks very much for tuning in another video. Each level seems to be taking about an hour, but we'll be continuing on with a, another one probably later in the week. So thanks for stopping by, and I can't wait to see you again on another Cyber Squad gaming video.